What's up, guys? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the half-human, half-Atlantean Namor. So today's episode is on the Marvel Legends Namor. All right, guys, let's get into this Namor. And here you have, of course, Namor, also known as the Submariner. And Submariner here, as you guys can see, really cool. There you have, like, the authentic look to the Submariner. And, of course, you see the trident. That is the Neptune trident that you're looking at there. Really like what they did with the trident. It looks really phenomenal. And then, of course, you get an original old school look to the Submariner. Uh, for those of you that don't know much of this character, he started out in the Invaders. Um, and the Invaders was uh, Captain America, Union Jack. Uh, you had Human Torch, Bucky. So there was a couple of them, kind of like the Avengers. But um, the Invaders were always going up against Red Skull and so forth. So he was more of a hero during the World War II era, um, more than anything. So there you see, of course, my Red Skull. Just wanted to go ahead and show that off. And then you have my Submariner with his base. That is from Toy Biz. And there, of course, Tiger Shark. You have my Scuba Diving Spider-Man back there. Just wanted to go ahead and mention some of these characters in the corner here. But nevertheless, Namor, really neat character. He is half human, half Atlantean. And of course, you see the cool gauntlets that they gave him, those gold kind of gauntlets there on the wrists. And then if you look further down, uh, he has the feathers on the ankles. So really neat character. And there you see, man, very muscular, very built Namor. So they did a great job with this figure. I really like the head sculpt a lot. I like what they did with the head sculpt. Um, there is another Submariner that we're going to be talking about. So stay tuned for that because there is a big difference in the head sculpt. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But definitely this is by far my favorite one only because he does come with the two interchangeable open hands. And there you see the two interchangeable open hands. And he also comes with the interchangeable head sculpt. And this one, I really like this head sculpt there. You have him with like the beard and just looks really neat. So let me go ahead and show you guys real quick how he looks like with the interchangeable head sculpt. All right, guys, and there you guys can see that he means business. Really uh, like this head sculpt. It's more of a serious look to the Submariner. So I really like that. And like I said, they did a really good job with this Submariner. They actually uh, made him look extremely muscular. So that was a cool thing that they did. And also, uh, he is a contender, man, as far as Marvel is concerned. This is definitely one of those heroes that uh, I would love to see in the MCU. But this is the Submariner by Marvel Legends Hasbro. All right, guys. So this is the Walgreens exclusive Namor that we're looking at here. And of course, you see a big difference in the head sculpt. Uh, there you see kind of like that strand of hair that goes to the side on the Submariner. Uh, you don't really get that look. So just wanted to go ahead and show that that difference in head sculpts. And also, if you're looking at the Trident, Trident is also extremely different. Really like this Trident, like the colors that they put together, kind of like that aqua blue or aqua green color that you see there. And then, of course, here, um, it's more of a solid gold color. So just wanted to go ahead and show the difference in the trident. Um, and one thing about this Namor is, of course, he has his uniform on. And if you're looking here, uh, really cool. They went with the black. And then, of course, they gave him the feathers on the ankles going up. And then you get kind of like that metallic pattern there, which is really neat, almost like a metallic blue on the inside there. And then you get the cool collar that flares out. And it's almost like a younger look 
to this Namor if you're looking at it closely. Also does come with the gold gauntlets around the wrists. Just wanted to go ahead and show that. And you have a better look right here on the sides there. You kind of see like the ears and the hair that flares out. And just another look at the uniform. Really neat Namor. And definitely like the pattern on this trident. Just looks pretty cool. So Namor, uh, most of you guys know a little bit. Yes, he started in the Invaders. But when he came back and made his appearance as Namor, he had some run-ins with the Fantastic Four. Uh, he fell in love with Sue Storm. Um, and this was an issue... Uh, of course, the Namor that we know is either good or bad at times. Not all the time is Namor, uh, you know, a good guy. Uh, he can flip flop. So he's kind of like that anti hero that, um, you look at and you're like, man, which way is he going to go next? So Namor really a conflicted character, I guess. Uh, he did, uh, help the invaders for a long time and in that, appearance of the invaders he was good but then when he made his appearance uh in the comics when he came back he had some run-ins with the fantastic four and some other issues so just wanted to go ahead and mention a couple of things about namor but definitely a very overpowered character in the marvel universe and still has not been brought out so hopefully we'll see uh, a lot more of him soon uh, hopefully, maybe, who knows, in the Eternals. I mean, you never know. But just wanted to go ahead and show off this Namor. And also, for those of you that are wondering, why do I say Namor Submariner? Because he goes by those two names. This is Namor. I just called the one with the uniform Namor and the one without Submariner. So just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know it's still the same guy. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So this is the... Namor from the Walgreens exclusive by Marvel Legends Hasbro. All right, guys, wanted to give you a last look at the Submariner, of course, with the original group of the invaders there. There you have Union Jack, Submariner, Captain America, and the Human Torch. Um, yes, Submariner has had run-ins, and of course, it would be cool to put him in a battle scene against the Thing or the Fantastic Four. Uh, and there you see my other Namor there. So just wanted to go ahead and show him. Uh, a lot slimmer look to this Namor that you're looking at there. So definitely a big difference between the Namor that recently came out by Marvel Legends Hasbro. Um, and this is the episode on the Submariner, also known as Namor. Please subscribe, hit that bell for the next notification, and definitely hit us with a like. I'm G-Infinite. Peace out, YouTube.